I'm Jessica Rios from Funimation, and this is One Piece at a Time. I'm your host and a social media producer. And in celebration of the One Piece anime's 20th anniversary, I'm watching the show for the first time. And every week, a seasoned fan re-watching the series will join me in exploring each episode following the Meruut binge guide. So come on board on this adventure starting right now. So this week we have MJ back with us. Welcome back, MJ. Hi, thank you, Jocely. So on the last podcast episode, which was episode twenty-seven, we went up to anime episode two hundred and fifteen, and the Straw Hats escaped G eight yes. using the same octopus <laughs> they used to come in, right? And they continued their way on the Grand Line, and they reached Long Ring Long Land, and they rescued an old man from his stilts. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end, we met the Foxy Pirates who want to challenge the Straw Hats. Mm-hmm. And then on this episode, we'll continue the Davy Back fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll see them fight to keep their crew together. Episode 216, Showdown on the Cliff, Red Light, Green Light. And first of all, I want to say on the last <laughs> podcast episode, I predicted it and it happened. They good job. picked <laughs> Nico Robin. Yay! She's a good choice. <laughs> this is the first prediction that I actually oh. nail. <laughs> so good I'm very you. happy. Congratulations. <laughs> thank we you. should celebrate. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> She's a great choice. And I like how she usually joins them and then everyone's like, oh, don't be. Yeah. And like, they already like her and she gets into yeah, the Yeah, she just sits yeah. there on the important yeah, yeah. chair. <laughs> and I think. I think she's confident because she knows they're going to get them back. Well, also, um, she's used to being on... I feel like she's been by herself. Mm-hmm. And she's she was part of Crocodile before Yeah, this, that's right? true. So, she's used to switching sides. I don't know how much sides she switched. But yeah, I think she's very... <laughs> Flexible. That could be it. What I didn't expect was that the crew would react like badly to her oh, confidence. Okay. You know, Zoro was like, I knew it yeah. that we couldn't trust yeah. her. And <laughs> he has been suspicious of her. And Nami was like, no, she just knows that we'll get her back, I think. <laughs> It's so funny, Nami and Nob- Nobin's in the relationship. Yeah, it's changed. Remember during G8, mm-hmm. they did have like Nobin's Anis. I think she called her older sister. Yeah, she called she her sister. Because she helped with like the, um, the map and everything. Mm-hmm. Yep. So the next round starts. I really thought this was a funny round. Me too. I really, <laughs> really enjoyed this <laughs> this round. They start a game of red light, green light, or un dos tres pescao, okay. how I call it. Do they call it red light, green light in the dub? Yes. Okay, so they call it Daruma Sanga Koronda in the sub because that's the name of the game. And I looked it up and I'm like, I guess it's called Statues. I yeah. looked it up on Wikipedia. Like the general game and there's like variations of it in all the different countries. There's the red light, green light. Mm-hmm. There's Daruma Sanga Koronda in Japan. Uh-huh. And I think there's like a UK version and then like... Yeah, and I know in Spain they use Un, Dos, Tres, Toca la Pared, which is similar to okay. ours. So I um, thought that was funny. I it like is that. interesting I've, that everybody has a mm-hmm. version of the game <laughs> and not only that it kind of reminds me again about like how when anime can uh, serve as like a way to kind of show a bit more of the Japanese culture outside Japan mm-hmm. so like did you know they had this game in Japan yeah, yeah. I didn't up until now <laughs> yeah that's super interesting yeah, so they're going to play this game, and Tanjit is going to be it. it yeah. Because <laughs> um, he's been <laughs> the stilts so long that he can see from afar is the reasoning that they give, right? Everybody but Luffy is going to participate on this one. <laughs> yeah. The Foxy Pirates start cheating, like, as soon as they start. Cause they're from the course, beginning. Yeah, from the beginning. From the beginning. Cause it's, like, qu- twisted, and then the other one is, like, straightforward. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it starts... Mm-hmm. I found it really funny, the start. First of all, because... Sanji and Zoro started arguing as yes, soon as, as it started. They're running. As they're, they're running. fighting as they're running. Yeah. How? <laughs> I don't get it. And then the other thing was, I didn't get how the giant didn't get ahead super quickly. Oh. He was running at the same speed as everybody else. And I was like, huh, is he being slow? No. I don't or is everybody so. super fast? I didn't think about that. <laughs> Useless info that Chosley notices. No, I like that. <laughs> I didn't question it this time either. No. <laughs> First time watcher. These things that I asked. (laughs) 
Sanji and Zoro, yeah, they're arguing, and then Zoro all of a sudden is yes. lost. Yes. How? So I don't know either. It's a ch- it's、um, kind of a talent, I guess he has of getting lost <laughs> because I know him for someone who gets easily lost.、Mm-hmm. Remember Skype? <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, he was. <laughs> this is actually one of my favorite moments when he just keeps getting lost in this round. It's like <laughs> how? Well, well, one first of all, he was with Sanji, right?、Mm-hmm. They were fighting, and before we knew it, this I guess split up. So it was like, where am I? At yeah. The end. And、exactly. I'm like, Zoro, how did you get there? If only he. <laughs> yeah. Asanji's、uh, so、like, okay, I'm on a very special mission to rescue Sweet Robin,、yeah. mm-hmm. so I need to get ahead. And he takes a shortcut through some yeah. rocks. Yeah. Through the water, it was like rock steps.、Mm-hmm. And then、uh, Zoro's lost over there, not being as useful as he could be. <laughs> He's trying. And then, so all of this time is passing, and we're like, what? Why is it? So the way this game works, right, is while Tanji is like, he says, he says red.、Uh, okay, like, okay, okay, so okay, <laughs> and he takes forever. And then okay. Green. <laughs> okay, so he just stretches that. Yeah. Um, in Japanese, is he, he says "daruma san ga koronda," and it's about I think ten, ten syllables. So, so he stretches like "daruma san ga koronda" or something like that. <laughs> and so we don't hear this. I mean, what's happened is that he fell asleep. Yeah. On the rock, and they're like, "Oh, it's a, how did he learn how to do that?" But, yeah. Yeah. He <laughs> lucky, and then he just wakes up and does it super quickly. Yes. Red light, green light, <laughs> and then who's out? Capote. Is is out on this round? Yeah, we see but, we see them all running through the cores and stuff. Yeah, they're getting, getting closer.、Out. They're、yeah. getting closer. Actually, the you know the newscaster who's just flying over them, yeah, talking about it. So that's happening, and I like how they not mention like Nami and the others. So、yeah. they're like, we're not very useful here.、Yeah. And then Zoro also is not as useful because he just keeps getting <laughs>、yeah. lost. But Sanji's getting there. Sanji's getting there. And then on the green light, I think Sanji's fighting Hamburger in,、yeah. in the dub. Yes, so Hamburger starts fighting. With him and Chika Chita is about to win, and then he was so close. Yeah, he was super close, and Tanji. Sneezes on him, but like full blown yeah, sneeze yeah, with the snot, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just nasty. <laughs> but then because he did, so he was about to touch him, but then that sneeze happened, and he's like, "Oh, I caught you!" Yeah, and so、exactly. he's, out. he's out. So he was very close, and we're like, "Yes,、yeah, Sanji's gonna win、mm-hmm. because he's right there." Yeah, he was and right he, there. Okay, but he pauses to smoke. Like, yeah, he, lights his- he takes forever. <laughs> and I was and- like, "What are you doing?" He's gonna do the red light. I thought that he was just gonna get caught too. Because、oh, he, he starts, he starts, yeah, putting、okay. a cigarette on his mouth, and then he, and I forgot, and he, he starts saying something about Robin too. He's like, "Sweet Robin, yeah, <laughs> whatever." He's like, "I'll rescue you," <sighs> but then of course we discovered that Porsche. Horse Chan was like drowning. Was she drowning? Yeah, she fell. Yeah, yeah.、Uh, and then he's like, "Oh, I must rescue her."、Mm-hmm. And he leaves. This I'm like, why couldn't you at least like win and then leave? Right. right? Yeah. You were right there.、All、you could have just touched him and go. Yeah. But no, he went. He said he can't abandon a lady. Yeah. <sighs> Sanji, he's great. Yeah, and he was about to <laughs> pull it, pull it away too. Yeah, like, yeah, pull it he off. Was treading,、mm-hmm. He was treading water, not yeah, moving. They, like a swan, you yeah. Know, where like you look like you're still, and then he's like kicking really rapidly because、yeah. Sanji's really good with his legs. And then you're right, but then Porsche, of course, has to kiss him like on the cheek, and then he's like, oh, and then they lose. <laughs> yeah, they、and、lost. She, so Sanji's out、mm-hmm. because so Sanji. oh, he was so close. He so Sanji's so out,、close. and then so we have the le- the three left who wasn't you know exactly seen as you. Because、yeah. they weren't very close, you know.、Yeah. They were, but they're about to make it. Yeah, they are so happy. <laughs> they were like, "Let's make it together, guys!" And they're running towards Tanji. Then Zoro somehow manages to also get closer, and he sees Hamburger just lying there. <laughs> and I don't know in the sub, but at least in the dub, he's like, "Ah!" He was super annoyed because he was on the way, so he kicks him <laughs> super hard. And then Hamburger, <laughs> as Nami and 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 the rest are、Who's、about to touch.、Pull? Yeah, they're about to touch Tanji. Then, yeah, Zoro just kicked Hamburger into Tanji. So technically, he wins. Yeah, he wins. Why Zoro? Yeah, and then he comes along. He's like, "Oh, what happened?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "It was your fault. It was your fault, Zoro. They were、I、so close." No, we were so. I still、close. like Zoro though. <laughs> we could have gotten Robin back.、Uh, Not only that, now they have to give away another member. I know. And look, even if they win the next round, that's still two members they've lost,、yeah. right? So they had to figure that out. How? 
Episode 217, the captain's square off, the final combat round. Guess who's picked again? Chopper! Oh, well, yeah, he's very, he's cute, he's fluffy, and he's a he's, doctor. Yeah. Yeah, and he, he was can the obvious pick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he, oh, I, I'm, he's so adorable. He is super cute. Then is he your he, favorite right now? So. Yes. <laughs> and he goes running to Robin, like, Robin! Yeah. He just jumps into her arms, and I'm like, oh, Chopper! <laughs> It was really cute in the sub. He's like, Norby. <laughs> <laughs> and then Porsche like pouts a bit because she wished that Chopa liked, I guess, I think. Yeah, I yeah, think right? that's it. Yeah, she's mm-hmm. jealous. Cause, and, and you can see Robin giving her some side eye. <laughs> like, uh-huh. But yes, I really like that um, since now they're together on this new crew, yeah, at least yeah, temporarily, yeah. that they're together. And then when they're walking, she's yeah, like yeah, holding, holding his hands. arm. Yeah. Was, yeah, so yeah. cute. I was like, oh. And they get like their treats together. Yes. Yep. <laughs> but anyhow, so two is gone. Nami has a great suggestion. Yes. I mean, it's not going to help if we just get one back. Mm-hmm. Why don't we bet on five people, which is the rest of the straw hats? Yeah. And then Foxy is like, is up for it. Why just five? I'll offer you 500. And this part is super funny because then they're like, I mean, yes. at first yes. I was like, well, it doesn't make any difference to the straw hats because we don't have 500 people, yeah. right? But then they say, well, since they, they don't have enough people. It includes the descendants and so on and so forth. And we see Sanji like kind of daydreaming yeah. of a child. <laughs> Child that yeah. looks like Nami. Uh, baby Nami. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't remember this part. There's, it's, it's good to rewatch. I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the others are like thinking about it. Like, should we agree to this? <laughs> and Sanji's just like their whole heart. I know. Oh, a child that looks like yeah. Nami. <laughs> so cute. Nami's Wait, one. I don't remember how how is Sanji with children. I don't think we've seen him as with much, children right? as much. I mean, he's he's nice. We'll to see everyone him in, in the general. future mm-hmm. in a bit. He does kick a child, if that's a spoiler for what's coming. But we'll talk about it today, so it's not a spoiler, technically. <laughs> we'll get to it. We'll get to it, yeah. And so they agree upon that. Mm-hmm. And so the last round starts with all of this. And I love how, like, it's a carnival. Yes. Like, it's a festival. And there's all these booths. And yes. the food we mentioned that Robin and Choppa are walking around, like, getting their treats. And yeah. I thought it was great how, like, friendly the the foxy pirates are to yeah. the new recruits yeah i don't know if it's because you know chopper and robin are great anyway but um robin and Chopa, they're like how much are the snacks the booth person is tells them take it for free it's free welcome yeah <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile sanji comes by and tries to buy snacks for nami and them to share and it's like i guess super expensive yeah he says like 500 <laughs> berries or something like did that did he say a price i, I don't remember he did, i think he said a price and he was like what so expensive yeah he was like if you don't want them then you don't have to have them them. (laughs) yeah but i really like that it's a whole event you know the announcer is like doing the announcements like go get your Mm -hmm. special t-shirt special edition for this event like did you see the foxy badges luffy and Isop got them yeah (laughs) i'm like Like, why would you want them but okay (laughs) it's legit uh, good marketing uh, yeah sporting event (laughs) marketing on point So we come down to the last event Mm -hmm. then. It's a boxing match. They have to pick costumes. So Usopp is going to be the uh, second the, the, the coach. Second man? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah the, coach. the coach for Luffy. So they go into the dressing room. The dressing mm-hmm. room, right, to pick an outfit. The, the, that <laughs> dressing room was great. Yeah. There's all these options on costumes and like wigs and hops, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, we don't know what they chose because they're looking at all these things. Actually, we get a really good shot, by the way, I think here of the Foxy badge. Both of them are wearing it. I don't know if you noticed. I was <laughs> no, like, what? I <laughs> they have it on their chest. Sanji comes around looking for Zoro and Nami, and then Zoro trips in and is like, hey, we're here. <laughs> they have the booth area. It's like this whole stadium set mm-hmm. up of games. Like it's yeah. like yeah, any it's like, sports match here, Yeah, like in the real world. Mm-hmm. The announcer makes the announcements <laughs> and welcomes everyone uh-huh. in. And then we see Luffy, and Luffy's wearing an afro. Yeah. Like a big afro. <laughs> It looks and, great on And then uh, Usopp's hyping it up. Uf- Usopp's like hyping Luffy yeah, he's up and talking Afro like Afro power. Ha. Yeah, exactly. Like Afro power. And I was, what? what is uh, Afro power? But yeah. He's super excited. 
makes me laugh because as soon as Usopp saw the afro, he was like, oh, I yeah. know. In the closet, you know, I think yeah. that's when he knew yeah. Which, yeah. what uh, Luffy was going to wear. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so here. Usopp is actually holding <laughs> Luffy's hat. This is the first time I see someone who's not sure. Nami. I, yeah. I think it's holding, happened before. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, in Alabasta, for yeah. example, after co- the match with po- Crocodile, mm-hmm. I think Luffy was like, where's my hat? Where's my hat? And I think it was Usopp who someone who gave, gave it to, it to him. him. So he was, someone else has held it. But okay. you're right. It's not very often. Yeah. They're super hype. And Luffy's doing like his boxing dance. You know how they When do, they like, appear. The, yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> and it's interesting to see all the different reactions to his outfit. Mm-hmm. Because some people are like, oh, that's so cool and then it seemed like Zoro didn't yeah had- Zoro didn't love it he was like that's messed up like he didn't like it is that what all. he said in the that's dub? that's what he said in mm-hmm. the dub he's like that's messed up I don't remember up. what he said exactly I just noticed that there were all these different reactions yeah. the- to how Luffy looked yeah the crowd loved it and Chubber was like yeah he's so, so cool, cool. Mm-hmm. I don't know when this was exactly but I, I noted they had an episode break let's what is it thank our sponsors or something oh, yeah. within the episode like within the story yeah and that was obviously the episode break for the actual yeah. episode and I was like oh that's <laughs> fun and I didn't really notice and I didn't really I, th- I think think too much about it but especially when we're in like marketing mm-hmm. and I think those are fun things to incorporate yeah into an episode sort of breaks the wall a little bit yeah you know like <laughs> let's go to a message yeah. from our sponsors and there's the eye catcher <laughs> episode breaks and then the seats get raised like then they're looking at the battle I thought it would be difficult but with the slow power yeah everything is slowed down so when Luffy punches obviously yeah. it's not very effective because that's one key thing about Luffy's power is it stretches and it comes back really fast right mm-hmm. so yeah when Foxy made Luffy's punch slow mm-hmm. like his arm kept stretching yes. but it was so slow that it just hanged it's kind of interesting it, because it locks it in place too so yeah. not only does it slow it down but it it yeah. locks like the air almost around yeah, it yeah exactly too. like maybe like it's stuck there in mm-hmm. time almost. yeah because the rest of his body got pulled I exactly think. yeah the face bombs I really liked the face bombs I'm like good job branding yourself <laughs> Foxy's face just like everything is yeah, Foxy it's just like Foxy's face bomb slowly going through the air I'm like oh my gosh Foxy's <laughs> everywhere he's yeah he's taking care of that awareness of his brand. good job good job <laughs> Ends where they're still fighting I mean yeah. he's having a hard time yeah, but he knew and something. Foxy has all these tricks up his sleeves on home video, One Piece Adventure of Nebulandia is available now on Blu-ray and DVD. You can watch it dub for the first time, and it comes with an exclusive interview with the English cast Ian Sinclair, the voice of Brooke, and Michael Johnson, the voice of Komei. Also, One Piece episode of East Blue is now up for pre-order. It'll be coming out September 24th, also dubbed for the first time, with an exclusive 20th anniversary documentary featuring the English cast and the Funimation crew. You can get them both at Funimation.com shop. So episode 218, Full Blast Slow Slow Onslaught versus Invulnerable Luffy. Slow Slow Onslaught. This episode is all about Luffy and this fight. And like, how awesome Luffy is. Mm-hmm. He's just trying to figure out how to fight Fox's tricks because he's like... <laughs> Foxy even mentions the number he won at the end of this arc. I don't remember, but it was like 940 or something like what? that at the I end. That. Yeah. And he says that was his streak. So he's definitely has all, this. All for his wins. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he definitely has done this before yeah, yeah, a yeah. lot of times. I mean, he has <laughs> lots of tricks. Yeah. So you can see that he's got all these things Repertoire, super planned and, yeah, and perfected. <laughs> <laughs> I When, oh my gosh, Foxy and his tricks, one of the first ones is when they go under the deck or yes. like in the office offices <laughs> yeah and we, we we see him as a nurse I yeah. think in yeah, the, a nurse the first. like uh, medical whatever mm-hmm. room and Luffy is like oh have you seen this dude the, the nurse says yeah. oh no I don't know what you're talking about and Luffy leaves but then he's like hmm he looks like someone <gasps> is he the sister yeah I was like <laughs> what oh he comes back yeah yeah Luffy clearly is not his sister this is one uh, side about Foxy that doesn't help him is he gets depressed really quickly whenever <laughs> anyone says anything bad about him so yes. Luffy says something like with that weird uh, split hair yeah. hairdo and so he becomes depressed and is like oh 
wait, you are Foxy. Yeah, that's how he realizes on the. I so both sides are not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he figures out the cook is Foxy. The, well, yeah. I mean, it wasn't just the cook; it was also it yeah. Was but the, that's nurse. when he realized oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. the kiss he got. The, and then when he told him, when he realized Foxy told him, yes, and I was the nurse too. Oh. And Luffy was like, "What? You were the nurse too?" And I'm like, "Are you really surprised?" <laughs> If he's great. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then they get into this mirror room. Yeah. Where Foxy has this big, giant uh, punching machine. And that's just like throwing a lot of punches mm-hmm. forward. And Luffy's like, how are you moving this? And when we see on the inside, he's just like pedaling really fast. <laughs> so it runs on cardio, <laughs> which I think is the reason why it didn't work that well. <laughs> You need it to be more high tech, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Either that or have a better, you know, better well, power. They are, with Foxy being all, you know, cutting and, you know, with all these tricks, you would think he might have someone in there. But That's true. With this field, it was just him and Luffy. Mm-hmm. He, you know, Usopp had to leave. And so it was just yeah. the two of them. So I didn't think about that until right now. <laughs> yeah. Foxy didn't cheat in that way. <laughs> exactly, he didn't. That's true. And that's the one way he didn't cheat, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it was all him. And so the slow, slow beam, there's also the slow, slow, slow beam sword. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. I forgot about that one. I thought that was cool. I wrote it down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he has like this, he uses it sort of like a lasso, I guess, mm-hmm. right? And yeah, so he can tie Luffy up. With that sword, sort of. Sword? (laughs) Sword. He's also reflecting the slow, slow beam from the mirror, throwing it at the mirror. So it's harder for Luffy to dodge it. Mirror is a really good tool for Foxy. Yeah, agreed. He can use it to reflect his power and, like, use that to his advantage. So Luffy breaks the mirror, right? And then they get out of that room. Finally. Finally, uh uh-huh. So then they're still uh, fighting up above on deck. And Luffy's super resilient. Like, But, okay, yeah. Yeah, he's getting punched because this move that Foxy has where he f- sort of freezes Luffy and then just like starts punching him a yeah. bunch. And then when the effect of the beam is over, that's when he feels the effect. And that's like it's still like every time Luffy just gets up. Yeah, this episode was all about basically how Luffy does not give up and mm-hmm. how much loyalty he has to his crew members. Because everyone was thinking, oh, he's down. Yeah. But then he would get up again and mm-hmm. then he'd go down again. And so it was multiple times Luffy going down and mm-hmm. Luffy coming back up again. The Straw Hats are like, Luffy. Because <laughs> he says, I won't let you take a single member of my crew, even if it costs me my life. Mm-hmm. And so he won't give them up. Which is a great line, by the way. But yeah. I think well Luffy if that's the case you shouldn't have continued I mean you know yeah continue (laughs) to make these games happen because yeah this is all you Luffy so and that's where the episode ends he gets back up he's ready to fight again Mm -hmm. and we go into episode 219 with epic heated combat the fateful final conclusion Luffy is so awesome that even the foxy pirates are cheering for him because <laughs> yes. Luffy goes down and comes back again and he mm-hmm. says this awesome line about of course I'm not giving up my uh, crew member I'm yeah. gonna fight for them yeah and they start cheering for him yep. <laughs> or is it Straw Hat or Luffy I don't remember but they are cheering for him until Foxy's like why are you cheering yeah, for yeah. him because he's their, ca- yeah, their and, captain and then they start cheering for him like boss you can do it boss <laughs> We had the cannonball. Yeah. And then, oh my God. So this trick, I was laughing so hard when Foxy did this trick. So he shoots a cannonball and slows it down. And then he puts this... Uh, like glider plane on top of it and it was hilarious because under the glider there's a shape like to insert to insert it into the cannonball and I'm like okay so you really really planned this execution yeah he- for this <laughs> <laughs> this is your thing I mean, uh, again he has done hundreds of yeah these exactly <laughs> so he gets on top of the plane and puts his arm out like to punch Luffy when the cannonball is fast again <sighs> that is <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it's a performance. Yeah. You actually have all these things ready, you yeah. know? I like it. <laughs> so Luffy dodges it and finally gets a break. A piece of mirror mm-hmm. falls. From the previous room. Yeah, from yep. the previous room. Falls from his afro and he gets an idea and he uses it. He, we don't see it when he got the idea, mm-hmm. but he punches into the punch 
and the slow slow beam reflects back yes. to Foxy. Yep. And I was like, oh, clever, Luffy. clever. Yeah, Luffy can have his silly moments. And I think we talked about this before. He's a very good battle strategist. Yeah, <laughs> it might be all intuitive. In the, yeah, maybe, exactly. But and in the moment, definitely not before the battle. <laughs> yeah, but he's quick to think yeah. about what he needs to do to try to win. Mm-hmm. I like his creativity. <laughs> <laughs> he finally gets a break where he mm-hmm. reflects it. So Foxy is slowed down. Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do when Foxy is slowed down is he, he attacks him with the gum gum gatoringu. Yes. I like the countdown. So like he punches him like crazy. And then we have, because it, it's a 30 second, I think, slowdown, right? Yes. Uh, so everyone counts down. <laughs> yeah. I'm like 10, 9, 8, 7. And then they count down and then yeah. the effect comes into play. And yeah, so he's blown away and into the water and Luffy wins. And he does the soul celebration. Yeah. I was half expecting the music. <laughs> <laughs> it's one piece though. So yeah. <laughs> I thought it was funny after even after he won that Foxy st- still tried to do his tricks where they shake hands, but then he tries to like flip Luffy, but <laughs> yeah. his arm stretches, so obviously yeah. that doesn't work. I'm like Foxy never gives up no and I also really really like that all of the Foxy crew jumps in to save him because obviously he can't swim because Um, of his power yeah Yeah. because of his power but every everybody went into the water because they love him so much (laughs) <laughs> and I, we mentioned this back in the last episode with Jonna that his crew really loves him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, he's silly, but he has his points, charming points. Yeah, and, like, Porkchop is, like, she's really caring for his ego all the time. Like, they really want Porsche. him to feel, yeah, they really want him to feel appreciated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Luffy won, and he can, what? they can, he, they can choose the they 500. Can choose. Yeah. yeah, they can choose <laughs> now. So he picks Robin and Chopper back. Yay! Yay! Back. Chopper's so happy. Chopper's yeah. super happy. He jumps into Luffy's yeah. arms. <laughs> Thank you, Luffy. And they're like, well, you have to pick more. Mm-hmm. And he's like, okay, I'll pick your flag. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, no, so ruthless. Well, he took their flag. And then he was like, oh, not the sail. He just took their flag. Yeah, just their flag. And I thought it was considerate. Luffy said, well, if I took your sail, you guys can't sail. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'll just paint over <laughs> it. <Yeah. laughs> or he took their flag. They no longer have like a Jolly Roger. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So then he creates them a new jolly yes. roger. With Luffy take on the old one. <laughs> yeah, with a little heart <laughs> on you the remember, bottom. <laughs> do you remember the first jolly roger for the straw hats? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Luffy's definitely not an artist, let's say that. He just has, no, he has a unique style. <laughs> I think it's cute. So he takes that, but then we, he has to still select 497. Mm-hmm. Which is basically everyone yep. except like the me, pork chop yeah, hamburger yeah. and foxy. <laughs> So he's like, okay, everyone, welcome to Straw Hats. You are dismissed. <laughs> yep. Once you, you, everyone ha- else has to leave, so Foxy and they live on that tiny yeah. boat because he's like, this is our boat. Everyone else is like, well, you need people to man it, and you uh-huh. clearly don't have your people anymore, so you should take this tiny boat. So he, they leave in that tiny boat, <laughs> and then Straw Hat uh, and then Luffy dismisses all them, mm-hmm. and they are like, oh no boss come back yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they chase him it was a good ending yeah Luffy had like a big moment big celebration moment yeah I really yeah. like his boxing stance at the end you know <laughs> with the he, victory yeah. yeah exactly his victory stance the Foxy Pirates leave Luffy gives the Jolly Roger to Tanji mm-hmm as a token which was nice I think yeah because they're the one who shot Shelly right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then suddenly <laughs> a mole appears like a giant mole <laughs> yep yep <laughs> and he talks I'm like I was confused for a second like how are you talking mole but it wasn't the mole it was a guy inside the mole inside the mole or inside his hat and it's like this shirtless dude with a champion belt (laughs) saying that he's the what is it that he says world champion of hole digging digging. yeah Tanji recognizes him I don't know was he world I know he was a champion of hole digging or something I think so which I I thought was great yeah (laughs) (laughs) I'm like oh good for for you have that passion <laughs> have something to work towards and you know it can be very useful what if they need to be, build tunnels you yeah know, call him <laughs> and also Robin sort of it is useful Robin tells him he can use the hole to get the village mm-hmm. so it can be a way of yeah, transport yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it is definitely super useful 
Yeah, so this turns out to be Tanjit's <laughs> grandson, Lee Tonto, <laughs> which is a funny name. And this mole, Tanjit had given it to him before going on his wall breaking <laughs> try on the stilts. You know what? Always try to aim for being yeah. the best at something. Yeah. I think that's. At least he did try. Yeah, I like that. It's fun. Yeah. And that was the end. I think that was a good ending. Uh, yeah, so they can continue on to that. You liked it? I uh, liked did it. You, how did you like the feedback? Like, I liked it. Art? I think it was fun. I really enjoyed it because it was really like watching a sports event. <laughs> like, you know, with the announcer and all that stuff. You know, keeping tally of everything. And I'm a big fan of like tournaments. So I really enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, I do usually like tournament arcs. But this is still not my most favorite arc. <laughs> like my I have to do something with Foxy. Yeah, Foxy. you don't like Foxy. I don't know. I, I didn't <laughs> mind as much in this re-watch, uh, but I, I enjoyed it actually more than I thought. I yeah. might because like, oh, the Foxy arc. Foxy, but <laughs> Foxy is definitely unique. And he I, I hate that he's a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of his, you know, unique personality. He's yeah. clever. Oh, I, in Japan, there's this impression like foxes are like clever and cunning. Sometimes mm-hmm tricksters Mm -hmm. so i kind of on theme kind of relates yeah (laughs) definitely it also made me laugh a lot you know how personal he took like when people (laughs) spoke badly about him yeah yeah Yeah. i mean that does make it endearing in a way yeah in a little way they're Mm -hmm. like we gotta protect him yeah i did forget all the fun moments in this because i love the zoro sanji moments (laughs) (laughs) they're my favorite i really like them yeah and we actually asked people this uh, so let's move on to our social question. Which was your favorite Davy Back fight round at Long Ring Long Land and why? Mm-hmm. So let's pick a few answers from the ones we got on Facebook at One Piece Official and Twitter at One Piece Anime. On Facebook, I think Bilal Amekai. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, but <laughs> he said when Zoro and Sanji Zoro and Sanji working together uh, together <laughs> lol I was like yeah <laughs> they never yes, knew that agreed <laughs> <laughs> and it was so I hard mean, to get them there together <laughs> well <laughs> clearly only if they have to and not too closely <laughs> I love that. But, but yes, that part was super fun. And yeah, it was so hard to get them there. Like the other guys had a clear advantage because they didn't want to work together. So yeah, that was definitely fun to watch. <laughs> James Marinan on Facebook says Luffy's fight was the best arc for the Davy back fight. Uh, best round. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mainly the reason why is because of the reaction when Usopp told him he needed to wear the afro <laughs> and it would give him power. Yeah, afro power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was hilarious and the uh, afro worked. Makes sense. (laughs) There's a different arc where he, that I clearly remember is where he dresses up. Man, I can't wait for you to get to the video (laughs) episodes. Shen says, the final punch from Luffy as they did the countdown where he just raised his Mm -hmm. arms as fireworks exploded behind him and Foxy flying over into the ocean. That was both hilarious and awesome. Mm. (laughs) And I do have to mention a comment below that one (laughs) from Christian and he says, can someone tell me which episodes after Luffy appears. I think I skipped them because I thought they were fillers. Uh, well, it's interesting because uh, Debbie Back is fight is canon, but there are there are filler rounds mm, inside yeah, it. Filler like mo- elements that yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. John have mentioned that, but see, this is why you have to watch everything. You can't <laughs> skip. The fillers are great. Yeah, I can understand. There's a lot of episodes, but it's fun to watch. All yeah, of them. it's fun to watch, and you may miss something cool like Afro Luffy if you think <laughs> it's a filler. <laughs> So just watch everything, and that way you won't miss anything. Okay, Christian? Okay. (laughs) (laughs) At Mohi Arebi says, Normally no one likes fillers, but Sanji and Zoro in the groggy ring (laughs) were hilarious. (laughs) Afro Luffy's intro by Usopp was epic too. Which is true. Yep. Usopp was super hyping Luffy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Usopp does that. He acts as a fun, what is it, like the person who's like supporting role. Yeah. <laughs> and hyping and like, he's a good marketer. Yes, a good embellisher, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> All of your answers were great. And be on the lookout for the next social question on our social media, on Facebook at One Piece Official and Twitter at One Piece Anime. You know what I've noticed is we don't really do mission statements. Let's do one right now. Okay. <laughs> so my name is Jocelyn Emrios and my mission for this week is going to be to be more resilient like Luffy. Oh, yeah? I feel like sometimes I'm quick to give up mm. because sometimes it is easier. Yeah. And you have to be efficient too. Yeah. So 
I'm going to be more resilient. That's yeah, my mission like for this that. week. I'm MJ Takahashi, and my mission statement for this week. Yours is so good. It was going to be more like <laughs> um, eating healthy. That's a good. That's a it's, good mission it's statement. It's a general and it's one, hard. but I want to be. What happened was I over the weekend I made lots of sweets mm. and desserts because I had some time, which is a rare thing. <laughs> but anyway, eating healthy not very as relevant, but I like yours. But just as hard, <laughs> I feel it is hard. <laughs> so episode two hundred twenty was it lost, stolen? Who are you? Who are you? Yeah. So after the uh, the, uh, the Foxy Pirates, we're in this new story. Yes, we're in this new story. When we come in, we see the crew just sleeping, like they're docked mm-hmm. near an island. Mm-hmm. And this episode is very much set up for what's coming. I feel right. Mm. So everybody's just sleeping, except Robin because she's. Uh, reading, mm-hmm. suddenly, like this mysterious figure appears and blows a horn, and everybody wakes up without memories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So everyone's uh, forgotten everything except for Doping. Mm-hmm. Um, they're like, "Who are you? Why am I here? Where am I?" Yes, and they all sort of remember, like, very way back. Like even Luffy says, "Like, well, last I remember, I left Fusha <laughs> Village yesterday and got caught in a bur- in a whirlpool." Yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, "Wait, is that how he got into that barrel from the first episode?" So actually, I don't know if I or is that another in the barrel? Manga. No, 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 it's the barrel. <laughs> it's the barrel. Well, you mean okay. like when he pops up? Yeah, yeah. You know why he was in the barrel, right? Um, he just said that he was caught up in the whirlpool and he like climbed into the barrel so but I don't know safe. how yeah how oh and then you know that barrel just floated somewhere okay and that's and they Kobe, picked it up yeah. oh I was wondering I'm if just it gonna was gonna say one. this is a nice whirlpool so currently in the simulcast mm-hmm. or recently in the simulcast there was a whirlpool movement too yeah Luffy was like oh a whirlpool and everyone else is freaking out because <laughs> <laughs> he's got the experience <laughs> Luffy of, of course that's what he last remembers and then I believe mm-hmm. everyone else like Sanji and Usopp also remember Baratie and then Kaya and Chopper's panicking he's like I mean because I felt a little bad past, <laughs> yeah right yeah I felt a little bad because it took him so long to accept yeah. the straw hats yep. and that they accepted him yeah. like he had a hard time yeah. so watching him like regress to that I was a little bit sad <laughs> I was sad for him too because he joined be- like first of, there was that accepting thing where mm-hmm. Luffy accepted him as like an equal you yeah. know it, rather than just like a strange creature that is half beast half man mm-hmm. and so uh, you're right it's, uh, <laughs> uh, it was so I think he was like I'm the captain yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's a pirate ship obviously I'm the captain yeah. <laughs> yes yeah Usopp is like well I guess I'm the captain he keeps like reiterating it like <laughs> through this whole arc he's like yeah I'm your captain <laughs> I mean, he does. He did always want to be the captain, mm-hmm. and so no, no one remembers everything. Uh, Chopper still does. Chopper's freaking out, and then Nami is like, "We know Nami's past. If you had that past, you wouldn't think you would join a pirate group." Yeah, right? definitely. Yeah, because she st- she also had that mission mm-hmm. to save you know her town. So she, I think, walks away. Yeah. She takes a bunch of gold. (laughs) Yeah. Because she still has a mission. Yeah, exactly. She doesn't remember that she already did it. Mm -hmm. So she just takes the waiver and leaves. No explanations. Oh, she did just take that. um, She was like, oh, what's this? And she hops onto it and she just goes away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, And then Zoro also leaves. He's like, because he, he's a pirate. Yeah, hunter, he he like, yeah uh, he rem- bounty hunter. Yes, yeah. he remembers this being a bounty hunter, and he's like, "Well, bye." <laughs> Straps the mm. swords to his head, and she swims. Which I, I was like, "Wait, can't get them wet." <laughs> yeah. But but he hasn't done that before. I feel he's jumped in the water yeah, normally think, with yeah. the sword. No, maybe he's a changed man afterwards. <laughs> he didn't care as much. I just found it hilarious <laughs> him with the swords on his they, head. They do that, like you know. You put things that you don't want wet on your head Mm -hmm. as you cross water. Uh, And then we see a mysterious figure, but that's it. It is mostly set up of like them trying to, them. There's a lot of recap moments. It was nice actually, where we see um, some nice, like, oh yeah, flashbacks. Mm -hmm. It's like a nice breather after all these episodes. Yeah, definitely. Reminds us where we were. So we'll see how they get them back. Yeah, so this is actually a filler arc. Yeah? Yeah. Um, so I think it's based on a One Piece video game, mm. uh, Ocean Stream or something. But 
So they took that story and made it into, I think, this filler arc, I believe. Nice. <laughs> Do you like it so far? I like it so far. Did you think it was filler? I did not really. Not I mean, really. You can't really. I can't tell as much exactly. unless you read manga. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's hard for me to tell. Sometimes I'm like, like if if nothing. If it's pretty short or if nothing related to world building happens, mm. then I start suspecting. Okay, okay. Like, yeah, we're, oh, maybe this is filler. Yeah, you're right. It's still episode <laughs> one of the yeah, story. Yeah, exactly. So. Um, but so far, I like it. And it seems like it's not that long. So we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. So moving on to episode 221. A mysterious boy with a horn and Robin's deduction. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. So yeah, Nami just leaves, and at this point, I'm wondering. I'm like, wait, Nami, you got the lock pose on your hand, and you're our she navigator. <laughs> yeah, we sh we need you. <laughs> they need you. <laughs> They're not gonna get anywhere. She's the one who helps them, put, you know, stay moving forward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, she reaches. She goes to the island and goes to a village there, and no one remembers anything. Yeah. Like they don't even remember that day basically mm -hmm. um and she meets she actually meets the boy they talk for a bit and she doesn't know who he yeah, is she doesn't suspect anything mm -hmm. so meanwhile robin back at the boat she's the only one who remembers anything so she's trying to fill the guys in into their history or what she knows about it because yeah, they have a lot of yeah. history and that she doesn't know exactly I like Sanji being reasonable. He's like, "Hey, if you were here, and that if this is if you're, what you're saying is true, why don't you fill us in?" So like, he's like actually, you know, trying to be reasonable and trying to make situ like make sense of the situation. Yeah, I appreciated that. <laughs> <laughs> And then we see uh, Zoro and Nami on their own, just like remembering their past. Yep, and because we had the others' mm -hmm. flashbacks. Yeah. And uh, Zoro remembers his promise to Queena and remembers asking for her swords and all of that. And Nami even, and this is, I, I don't know why Nami isn't a little more open to believing that she is part well I guess I know why she's not open to believing she's part of the crew but at least to accept the fact that she's been hanging with them because she has her own logbook yeah, yeah. and she's reading her handwriting and sh so she's reading all of that stuff that already happened but still she's like no way and she's just like remembering Bellamere and, and Arlong I mean, what do you think? she's smart so she I'm sure I feel like I feel like she doubted. It's hard though because remember the last place she was at. There's just been so much that changed since that place. Where yeah. like you know that big moment where like Luffy's like I've got you. Yeah. And he take like gives her the hat to mm -hmm. like hold on to for yeah. him. Like that is so life changing. Yeah. I I can see it being very difficult because like Arlong was evil basically. Yeah. <laughs> or very didn't treat them well. You know, yeah. tortured them or. Uh, never, he was violent. He was taking all their money. He was using Nami. True. I feel like maybe she should have been more open to at least trying to figure out. Oh, like, okay. If, if, okay, then maybe I did lose my memory. Let me see if I can try and get them back to try to figure it out instead of just running off. And but it's pirates. But wouldn't you, wouldn't you be like... Oh, that's true. Wouldn't you be like, well, I need to remember what's oh, okay. happened. So I could... <sighs> She probably panicked because you're right. If she was more being more rational, she might have like been like, "Okay, let me stay here and try to figure out it out." Kind of like how she doesn't Sanji have, was. Yeah. yeah. Well, Sanji's not being tricky, so, but Nami could have been like pretending at least. To That's be, true. Like right. Like she does. And then she could or always she run away later. Mm -hmm. But maybe it was just like so. Oh, Arlong pirates, or I mean, Ar yeah, you know, that it was more uh, instinctive, like reactionary. Yeah, it could have been very reactionary. And I guess since she lost all of the good memories and she's back to that clean slate. Oh, yeah. She, she, Where she's, you, yeah. The trauma is very yeah. fresh oh, yeah. still. So, yeah, that is definitely understandable. I think either way it could have happened. Yeah. Back at the ship, Robin and Sanji are awake, sort of keeping lookout. I appreciate this, but Robin's like, well, I was the only one awake, assuming that Zoro was actually sleeping, mm -hmm. like he fell asleep up there. Um, And so they're like, oh, it might be something that happened while we were sleeping. Let's try to stay awake, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, they tried to stay awake. Obviously, everyone is, is like falling asleep because it's getting yeah. late. <laughs> The boy comes back and uh, tries to steal more memories, but this time, since they're awake, they realize. Yep. So they go, they come out, and he 
sort of tries hypnotizing them with the seahorse, but Luffy sees him. <laughs> This, I thought he was mad about the memory yeah, stealing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he sees him on his spot on the Mary, and he's like. Get out of there! That's, yeah, my, that's spot. my spot. <laughs> yeah, I just claimed it today because he doesn't remember claiming yeah, it yeah, yeah. ever. <laughs> so get out of there! So he just kicks him out and kicks the seahorse, <gasps> and he gets his memories back. I don't remember. I've al- I always、uh, associate Luffy's like I see the top of Mary's head as、mm-hmm. Luffy's spot. Yeah. So I don't even remember when it started becoming Luffy's st- spot, especially because this is filler. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, wait, what is it? I I'm going to have to go back to the manga and also the anime to see where it first started. The first time he yeah, claimed the, the spot, yeah. like back on yeah. back back、yeah. in the day. Um, I think it was the very first day they got the、right? marine. Like just, on on the next episode, you know, the episode ended when Kaya gave them the ship. Yeah. And on the very next episode, which is the first episode, like they're cruising on、yeah. the Mary. That's when he claims it. He's like this、so、nice spot. It is his. It's been his spot. Yeah, for forever. <laughs> <laughs> But I did find it funny that he like he's he was sleeping. Yeah. And out of nowhere. He comes and be like, "That's my spot. Get off my spot." I mean, I'm like, "Okay, I guess you get up because someone's taking your spot." Yeah, and then and he that- punches.、Uh, he attacks him and、yeah. then gets his memories back.、Mm-hmm. Yes, that's where it ends. And don't forget, you can watch all One Piece anime episodes on Funimation.com/OnePiece or the Funimation Now app, and check out our blog at Funny.to One Piece Podcast for all the info on binge routes, maps, and more. Check it out. So episode two hundred twenty-two. Now let's get back our memories. That pirate crew lands on the island. So Luffy remembers. Oh, he's like, oh, I, I remember everything. And then <laughs>、yeah. he goes around telling everyone, "It's like this is how you are. This is how you were." And I liked when he was telling Chopper, "Yeah, this is what you do." And you know the ch-、uh, chopsticks, yeah. Thing, where you, like I guess during parties, you stick out his nose and they're just being funny. Yeah. And Chopper's like, "Really, really, I did this. <laughs> this is what I do." Yeah. <laughs> and、uh, yeah, Luffy's like, "Yeah, you do this at every party." And he's like dancing around. And Chopper's like, "I don't get it." <laughs> And he tells Usopp like I'm the captain. Yeah, <laughs> remember now. And Usopp's like, dang it, <laughs> so close. <laughs> it, it wasn't going anywhere, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so、um, yeah, he realizes then that they have to go get Nami and Zoro back. So、uh, they need a raft to <laughs> to go in, into the island. And this part is super funny because no one knows how to build a raft. But they they try. I don't know where they get all the logs, but they do try make their own designs. And Trevor's like, "Look at mine!" And it's like a house. And I'm like, "How is that a raft?" <laughs> all, all these funny scenes you get inserted. I'm like, what? what? <laughs> Those are my favorite. Like when I'm just like sort of trying to figure out how to solve this problem and what are we gonna do next. And they just insert this <laughs> silly moment. I love all the small things that is incorporated into One Piece because like you don't. You know, there's small things, but like there's so much of it. They just、yeah. build all these facets of your understanding of the characters,、yes. and I love that. I love it too. And then Usopp, as always, he he sort of underestimates his building <laughs> abilities. I feel because then he's like, I'm not, I'm no shipwright. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm I, a sniper. <laughs> yeah, this is not my job. But he still did it.、Yeah. Like you can still do it pretty well. Decent job, Usopp. You should. Pat yourself a little bit on the back. I mean, he's the one fixing Mary all the time. Yeah, poor Usopp. They go.、But、they finally get into the town.、Mm-hmm. To they find Nami. Yes, and they find her. Yep. She tries to run away, but can't <laughs> because again, she's like, "Who are you?、You're、yeah, pirates." Yeah. Um. So she still doesn't believe them. And meanwhile, Zoro is hanging on his own in the forest. He just caught this big fish in the river, and he's eating it. And The boy comes in and sort of tries to talk him、yeah. up on how strong Luffy is、yep. and how、yeah. he should try to beat him. Yeah, don't you want to fight? Yeah, him because you want to be the strongest. Don't you want to beat the strongest person?、Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he's sort of trying to be clever, and I'm like, Zoro. I'm not sure Zoro will fall for it, but then he hypnotizes him, <laughs> which is cheating. <laughs> But yes, so then I'm worried. I'm like, oh no, Zoro's gonna fight Luffy again. Remember back when they were fighting because of before the Alabasta arc, they encountered the oh yeah yeah, yeah the with guys, the island, with the island, right? With that tricked them into thinking they were. 
good guys. But yes. Then, like, <laughs> yeah. And, yes. And Luffy got mad because he thought Zoro beat yeah, them up me. for no yeah. reason. How much you beat up all these people who gave us food? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but now Zoro's going to be the one to start the fight. And then by the end of this episode, Robin finds this stone with ancient writing mm -hmm. and sort of figures out who is the one stealing these memories. And I feel that's where the episode ends. Yeah. Episode 223, Zoro bears his fangs. A savage animal stands in the way. We savage animal. So on the way to this sea god's palace uh, that Robin read about on the stone, um, Usopp and Chopper get separated because of a snake, another silly moment. And they meet Zoro and take him back to the group. And when he comes in, immediately attacks uh, Luffy. <gasps> not expected. No yeah. <laughs> Luffy's not Luffy's not even like mad or surprised or anything. He's just like, hey, that's dangerous. You should stop. <laughs> Don't you like his very like plain re reactions to many things? He's like, hey, that's not fair. Or, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah but There's he's no not judgment. Like mad. There's no judgment. Yeah. It's just like, oh, that wasn't cool. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm sorry. Just stop that. Yeah. <laughs> Normal. Um, so they sort of figure out that something's wrong with him mm -hmm. and Luffy decides to stay back and fight him while the others yep, continue. Yep. Mm -hmm. So and they fight for real, like Oh well, yeah. So like, I was trying to do yeah, like, stronger or strong person. He legit wants to hurt him. He just like he cuts his face like a little bit and yep. then he does like an onigiri, I think it mm -hmm. is called. Onigiri. Which is funny, by the way. Have you ever talked about onigiri? Because no. Oni, onigiri also means like um, oni is um, it's a troll. Like it's this Japanese like um, folktale creature. Mm -hmm. They have it's like a demon troll uh, ghoul. I don't even what's the best translation for that. But it's a mystical creature like that's usually seen as evil or bad or scary. Okay. And then giri is like a form of like kiru to cut. So like the like the ogre cut. Oh, ogre. Ogre oh. might be close. But then onigiri is also rice ball. Oh, yeah. Okay. Huh. <laughs> so I think a lot of times uh, Zoro's moves incorporates like food, food stuff. Interesting. So they have like double meanings, sort of. Yeah. Now. I'm gonna. I should have a better list of Zoro when he's my favorite character right now. <laughs> but that's cool. And then he does like this move and cuts Luffy like an X on his chest. Yep. And, and I oh, every time this happens, this has happened before that yes. Luffy gets hurt that yes. way. I always think, wait, is this a scar? Is oh, because I know always the scar. See, yeah, okay. I've always seen like you the know X scar, the but I don't know world, he does. Yeah, so he hasn't, for people who haven't seen it yet, spoiler, but Luffy does have this like X scar on his chest. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> Jossie's right. He's been <laughs> stabbed and attacked on his chest multiple times yeah so i'm always wondering like is this the one is this <laughs> the one <laughs> i think it like you you see it there but then it doesn't stay yeah it doesn't say yeah. you just see like the like the marks there's a lot of discussion there on like how exactly did he get these because he has a lot of scars right mm -hmm. and then there, online you can see people be like where, where did he get the scar as far as i know he gets later on okay yeah Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll keep watching, though. Yeah, keep watching. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. While Luffy and Zoro are fighting, you know, being violent with each, against each other, mm -hmm. uh, Nami figures they can go to the ship without Robin and Luffy. Of course Nami would say yeah, that. Yeah, because she's like, on this don't, you, don't you remember? Don't you? What is it that you want? Like, don't you don't have to follow these guys. We can just do what we want. Yeah. And she's like, well, I'm a navigator. You're yeah. a doctor, yeah. you're a cook, like, yeah. we don't need yeah, you don't these need other them. guys. <laughs> <laughs> so she tries to convince them to go with her. Yep. And Usopp's with Nami. She's like, mm, yep. you're right. And that's expected. I feel like yeah. I would have expected that from Usopp. <laughs> <laughs> but Chopper, I really like that Chopper stays. Yeah. She's like, I'm going to stay, even though he doesn't know because he accepted Luffy is. Her, mm -hmm. him. Yeah. He's like, Luffy accepts me, and so I want to try and... I want to stay and figure this out. And I'm like, oh, a chopper. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, yeah. And Sanji, I feel Sanji has the right approach. He's like, he's not convinced, but he will stay until he settles the mystery. Like, he wants to know why, if this truly happened, then why did he forget about it? Yep. And, and how can he get those memories back? Because of all the things that happened. Like, mm -hmm. because Robin told him, right? All this yeah. crazy journey that they've had. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Again, I appreciate Sanji. And it's like, 
reasonable way to be approaching this whole situation. <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. So um, when Usopp hears that, he's like, well, yeah, I guess we can't leave without your memory, which is true. So Usopp's like, okay, I'll stay. And Nami's so mad. She's like, oh, she doesn't get it. And then she goes away. Yeah. But then she's like, oh, my gold. Because Sanji's carrying it for her, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Robbins tells them what she read on the stone, which is basically that there's this monster who feeds of, of memories um, on the island. So, so, yeah, basically he's the one who's controlling the kid. And we see, actually, as she's explaining that the kid arrives, the e- it tries to hypnotize Usopp and Nami. And Robin closes their eyes with her hands. Like, she puts hands on their heads and closes their eyes, which is hilarious to me. And I'm like, quick thinking, Robin. Robin's pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and Sanji's like, well, I don't usually kick kids. But I'm like, just kick that kid, <laughs> Sanji. Don't worry about I mean, it. And he's also being used. You know, he doesn't yeah, want to be used. That's true. You're you're saving that kid. Although they don't know that. Sanji doesn't know oh, that. Oh, this is that moment we were talking about, about like, how is Sanji with kids? <laughs> yeah, yes, exactly. This was that moment that we spoke about before. Well, he just kicked the kid, but the kid was trying to hypnotize people. Yeah. So, you And know. he did, you know, steal their memories, which wasn't technically him, but... He and he still. did put a disclaimer there. I don't usually do this. <laughs> <laughs> but. So Sanji kicks in. They realize that it was actually the seahorse. Yeah, because the the boy lets go. And he's like, he lets go of the seahorse. The seahorse falls. They mm-hmm. fall. And the boy's like, what is going on? Yeah. And he runs away. Yeah. So the seahorse is just left there on the ground. <laughs> yeah. And Sweaty. then, yeah. And then uh, they figure, again, figure out, oh. It was the seahorse. And then Sanji's like, well, then. And then <laughs> keeps like, uh, because the seahorse tries to run away. Yes. But they're like, no, our memories also, how dare you do this to us? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So Sanji keeps uh, kicking it and Chopper translates for the seahorse. And that is funny because uh, when Chopper first, translates, first translates yeah, yeah, they're like, wait, you can understand what he's saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or don't be, yeah, yeah. And then, but at first, uh, Sanji, I think Sanji was like, you saying that to me? And then Chopper's like, no, it's what he it's said. Worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Obin with the memories is like, yeah, Chopper, our doctor can translate what creatures say. Mm-hmm. Basically, the seahorse is like, I'm not giving you your memories back. So Sanji just kicks them out of yep. him. Yep, all of them. Uh-huh, all of them. And he gets everybody's memories back. Although they're not sure if they got Zoro's back yeah, since he's he not there. there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you see? I, it's interesting they did it through the nose. Yes. Right? <laughs> yeah. Which, um... I don't think I'm not quite sure always of all the intentions, but mm-hmm. it reminds me personally of like Egyptians, like ancient Egyptian traditions, where I I think they you know yes. when they mummified the pharaohs, mm-hmm. they would do it through the nose. Yes, they would pull yeah. out the brains yeah. through the nose. Uh, so it's like a one. It's definitely a. Pathway it is a pathway. Yeah, exactly. yeah. You you have all factory bulbs. Right as they're wondering that, Zoro appears with blood on his sword. And I'm like, oh, Luffy. Oh no, Luffy. <laughs> yeah. Luffy got defeated? <laughs> yes, and then we don't know. Because then we caught back to the seahorse, and Chopper translate that he hasn't played his trump card yet, and that's where it ends, so we don't know where Luffy is. We don't know if Zoro is here to kill us. <laughs> and and the, apparently the seahorse has another trick under his sleeve. Yep. And to be continued. Yep. Oh. Or not just this episode, but this podcast this episode. This podcast yep. episode, too. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's a nice, suspenseful ending. Mm-hmm. What do you think will happen? I mean, we kind of know. <laughs> Everyone else has their memories back. Yeah. I mean, well, I feel like probably if Zoro doesn't have his memories back, then he's definitely going to fight Sanji because they would that's what they do. Yeah, them. exactly. <laughs> that's what they do even if they had a memory. And then I wonder if Luffy's just going to make every like the seahorse give everybody's memories back. Like not just them, but the villagers, mm-hmm, the villagers. too. Since Luffy sort of always does that, help other people, even if he doesn't mean to. So, so yeah. <laughs> so that seems like something he, he would do. He often means to. No, yeah. I'm not <laughs> saying he doesn't oh, yeah. mean to. I'm just saying that it's if, if it aligns with his purposes, mostly. <laughs> so, yeah. Sanji versus Zoro is what I'm going to say. And then making the seahorse give everybody their memories back. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. Mm-hmm. I, you haven't seen the end yet, but like a relatively short filler. Mm-hmm. You like it so far? I like it so far. I think it's a fun story since we just got out of much bigger ones. I think, are you talking about Skypea? Yeah. After Skypea, uh, we had a 
G8, and then we had Foxy Pirates, which a lot happened. Like, I feel, you know, we had a lot of uh, mm, so action was, yeah. and all of that. So this is like a nice breather, I'm guessing, before something... I'm waiting for something major to come along soon. I'm so excited to start. I mean, there's a bit more, but yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything, because we're going to get there soon. <laughs> <laughs> Very soon. We hope you enjoyed this One Piece at a Time episode. Uh, don't forget to check out the Funimation blog at funny.to slash One Piece podcast, which will be updated constantly with the binge rules and everything you need to know. Also, head to our shop at funimation.com slash shop and add One Piece home video to your collection. And for all things One Piece, follow us on Facebook at One Piece Official and Twitter at One Piece Anime. And we would love to thank the people who make this podcast happen. The creator of One Piece, Oda Sensei, Toei Animation, the audio engineers, and of course everyone joining us on this journey, Nakama out there. Thank you for listening. Please rate this podcast wherever you're listening to it and share with other One Piece friends. Yes, share with all of your friends. The next One Piece at a Time will cover anime episodes 224 to 231, so be sure to watch on Funimation now, subbed or dubbed, and be ready. See ya! Bye!